Welcome to Inkscape for Teachers, I'm Jeff Phillips. In this tutorial I'm going to look at using a network diagram that I've drawn in Inkscape to find the critical path. So away we'll go. First of all, the first uh, black number in each semicircle is the earliest starting time. The red is the latest starting time, according to this key here. Anyway, Along activity A, the only way you can get to this node is spending five, let's say, hours. So I will make that five hours to that point there. Now five is the only way I can get here, so I, I can make this five. The earliest time I can start activity D is five. Then five plus the time of activity D is nine, so that takes us nine hours to get to this point. But I don't know whether I can start or get to the finish here because other activities might have taken longer so I'll wait to see what that number becomes. Coming along activity B, seven hours to get to this point. So I'll make that seven. But I won't put seven in here because it might be longer. I might have to wait for longer for E to finish before I can get to here. Going along activity uh, C, two hours to get to this point. So that's all I can do there. So I'll put a two in here. Now two and six is eight, so it takes me eight going this way to get to this node. Only took me seven before, but there's no point continuing unless all the activities are completed, so it's the eight that's important. And I'll put the eight in here. Now 8 and 3 is 11, so I'll put 11 there. Now no point, to, I'm not finished if these aren't finished, so I take the maximum number, so that's a 11, and I mirror that at the very end. So it takes 11 hours to finish this project, but which is the critical path? Well, we'll go systematically. I know you can probably see it, uh, or many of you will see that, but starting with the red numbers, subtract the durations. So 11 take 4 is 7. Change that to 7. 7 take 5 is 2. 2. Coming back this way, 11 take 3 is 8. Make that 8. 8 take 7, sorry, not 8 take 7, 8 take is, is 7, 8 take 7 is the duration, is 1. So make that 1. Coming back this way, 8 take 6 is 2. Make that 2. The red number again, 2 take the duration, 2 take 2 is 0, which is what I've got there. So I've completed all these boxes. Before I started the video, I transcribed these numbers from the left and right into each box. For example, D was 5 and 7. You can see D was 5 and 7 there. The total time of the project was 11. You can see, work that out from the table because earliest we could start F was 8, but it's going to take 3 hours to finish 8, so that makes 11 as the total. So I'll just get my text tool, type 11, and put that in there, control duplicate, control move that across, make that red. So there's the completed table of uh, float times. The float time is the difference between the latest starting time and the earliest starting time. 7 take 5 is 2 here. So for example activity D could be delayed by 2 hours with, without delaying the whole project. You can see that up here because at the moment D finishes after nine hours so we can delay another two hours and we still haven't gone past that 11 hours that we had to wait coming this method. So that completes the table, I'll just control 
zoom to zoom out a little bit, I should write, oh, the critical path is where the numbers are the same, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 8, 8, 11, 11. You can have more than one critical path, but um, in this case there's only one. I'll make that green just by clicking on Shift and green. Shift, green. Shift, green. So there's the critical path. If I could click on these things as well. Shift to select them all. And shift green for the stroke. You can see the green path here. C, E, F is the critical path. So I might as well edit that. C, E, F and the duration of that path was 11. So that's what we call solving a project network diagram. Thanks for watching. Just a quick note what to do if there are two semicircles or boxes at the start of the uh, same node. If we were backtracking or backward scanning, we're looking at the red numbers and subtracting the durations of the previous activities to get to the next red number. If there are two boxes there, we take the smaller of the red numbers. So in this case, 8 is smaller, so we go 8, take 3 to get 5, and in the lower path, 8, take 6 to get 2.